Well, here I am at a salon in Hillsborough, North Carolina, where a good friend of mine from way, way back in the day is working, and I have not seen her in, gosh, probably close to 18 years. We had our children together. She has a son like a month apart from my daughter, and I'm just really excited to see her. It's been a long time. We have both been through so much in our lives and it's gonna be a really good catch up hair appointment. Um, so I'm sure we have a lot to talk about and we are going to be chopping off this mess and fixing my color a little, um, adding some color, I guess. And I'm, I'm kind of open to whatever she wants to do. I have a couple things I kind of like generally said I want done and I'm just gonna let her have at it from there. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit and let you see how it goes. All right, bye. So I just got back from the salon. I got the color, I did not get the cut. My hair is so long and so thick that she did not have time to do the cut and the color. And we started with the color, so that was all we did today. I'm gonna go back in two days and we're gonna do the cut. I had a late afternoon appointment. It was like four o'clock and it was six o'clock when we finished and she had somewhere she needed to be. So we didn't have time to do it all and that's okay. I had rescheduled and I had rescheduled for really late in the afternoon. So I understand and we are going to get together on Wednesday and do my cut and so here is the color. What do you think? I love it. It is a dark, like a dark red. You can see it. it's getting dark outside. That's why I'm not in the car. I'm standing out in the driveway filming this for you guys so that I have as much light as possible. I think when the sun is out and it hits the color of my hair, it's just gonna like light up fire red, um, but like a dark fire red, which is gonna be beautiful on me and really makes my eyes pop, I think. So let me know what you guys think, if you love it. If you don't, um, what color I should try next maybe. If you think another color might look really good on me, I'm open to suggestions, but this one I'm really happy with. And obviously also, I mean, I just got it. I just left this one. My hair is actually still a little bit damp. So as it dries and I wash it a few times, it's going to lighten up a bit. And um, I think it's gonna be really pretty. So I'm really excited. Also, it was so good to see her. Uh, this was an old friend, like I mentioned, from many years ago. We knew each other growing up here in Chapel Hill, and we went our separate ways and both went through a lot of crap, and so we haven't seen each other in since our kids were babies, and our kids are both 19 years old now. <laughs> so it's been a while, <laughs> and, and we've um, kind of peeked at each other on Facebook and stuff, so we knew what we were up to a, a little bit, but we hadn't like had a, a hug and a chat, and 19 years and so that was really nice to catch up with her a little and I hope to be able to see her again soon That was great. So yeah, this is my new color for now and We'll get the cut in two days when I go back and I will show you guys That then All right, you guys I just got back to get my Cut done. I got the color the other day today We're doing the cut and I will check in with you guys in a little bit to see the final product You guys ready for the big reveal? So here is my new hair. Lots of fun layers. A dark, rich red color, which is exactly what I asked for. It's perfect for the end of summer, start of autumn. And my special friend got to do it for me too. So that's awesome. I'm so happy and I just wanted to give you guys a quick showing of this and now I am getting ready to make an impromptu trip a couple hours west to the Blue Ridge Mountain area of North Carolina to go see my sister and all of her children who live on a lake and it's awesome so I'm going to have a nice time. My mom's coming along with me so it should be interesting. 